Hey everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games, the channel on YouTube. Today's video is about Ninja Birds X. I had recently mentioned in another video, or uh, one of the comments I think, I was talking about doing online functionality. I think it was about um, a few days back, uh, roughly March the 21st, when I had mentioned doing online functionality in a game and, uh, and starting to move into doing more online games instead of single player games. So I just wanted to give a quick update and let everyone know what, I, what I've been doing. Uh, this isn't a tutorial video, it's not um, a tips video really, it's just sort of a general uh, update on, on what's been happening and maybe this will give you some ideas as well, so maybe you'll get some tips from this, who knows. So uh, the first thing is, anyway, uh, so Ninja Birds X is an iPhone and an Android game that has just had a single player mode, so it's just been one level and you can't play with anybody else on, online or anything like this. And uh, I'd mentioned that what I want to do with, with the, the studio was to move the, the company in the online mobile game area and have more social player-to-player -player interaction. And uh, so I've been testing that the past week. And what I basically did is this here, and, and I'll, sh I'll give you guys a quick playthrough, is I did a web player version of Ninja Birds X. And you can do this with Unity, and you don't need the pro version of Unity, which, which can be quite expensive. You can do this in the basic version. You can also do it in the free version, so you don't have to pay anything to do this. And you can publish that version online. So the reason that I've done a web version here with online multiplayer functionality instead of an on, instead of a mobile version is that it's because it's free and you don't have to pay for the full pro license. So this is on uh, at the moment. This is on Congregate.com. Uh, I did a video probably. I don't know, four months back or five months back now about how to get your game on to congregate and it's a very simple process. You just sign up as a developer and then you submit your game and it's available within, uh, I don't know, an hour or a couple of hours, something like this. So I'll, I'll do a real quick, uh, real quick demo. So if I click play, there's only one mode in this version which is the online mode and it's my turn and the first person to reach 20 points wins. So it's really, really simple. I'll just... I'll just have a couple of turns and then you can see. So my score is 1, their score is 0 at the moment. Uh, the frame rate is going to drop a little bit here because of the, because of recording as well. But You know, so far this has been, this has been a pretty good test. Uh, I've played a couple of times with people online and they've really enjoyed it. And we've played, uh, we've played a couple of hours, you know, uh, together and, and they've really enjoyed the game. So I've got 5, they've got 2. And so far, it's, it's gone pretty well. It's a very, very basic version, this one that's online at the moment. There's not a lot of functionality at all. Um, it's a small game anyway, uh, but I'll be adding more and more and more to this. So the great thing is about Congregate is that I can upload a version very quickly, uh, get some feedback from people, and then find out, hey, do you like it or not like it, or what should I add, and get some suggestions. Uh, and that's kind of what this video is about as well. So... I'll just do a couple more throws and then I'll get back to my points and because you guys can play this online anyway and test it out. So I'll try and get that one up there if I can. Oh my god, I'm playing terrible right now. I was doing fine a few minutes ago. I think my morning uh oh, okay. I'll try and get this one. If I get this one then oh no, terrible, terrible. If I get this last apple, then uh, uh, ten more apples will uh, spawn on the screen, and then okay, right, I should get it now. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. Ten more apples will spawn on the screen, uh, and then you can get more points. So I'll do one more throw just so you guys can see. Hopefully, I get a lot of bounces. No. All right. Never mind. Let's go back. I'll go back into the main menu and turn this off. Okay, so let me get back to my point. So I just wanted to do a quick demo for you guys. Uh, the online functionality, as I mentioned in my other video, is used by uh, is from a company called ExitGames.com, and the the server side uh, is all being handled by by them. They have the servers, the physical servers that allow our two games to communicate together and, and the players to uh, uh, to send each other scores and position data. Uh, and I'm using the free plan right now, which allows 20 concurrent users at the same time. So that means 20 people can be playing the game at the same time around the world. 
Uh, that's not a huge amount, but it's it's fine for testing right now since the game isn't being marketed very much or, or hardly anybody knows about it right now. So that's fine. But what I can do is I can see in the exit games panel is just how many users are using the game. And then if I need to upgrade to more users, then I think for an indie plan, it's roughly like $10 a month to get 100 concurrent users or something like this. So it's really cheap, and I'll definitely be doing that if the game does does get popular and people start to play it more. Um, so on the on the mobile version of, of Unity, I, I wanted to do Ninja Birds X uh, as an iPhone and an Android version. The problem is, though, uh, to unlock the the code, the uh, I think it's the net socket code, which is the online functionality code, I need to buy the Pro version of Unity. Now, the problem is that that costs like, well, if I got the Unity Pro with Android and, and iPhone, that would be $4,500, which is pretty expensive. So I can't do that right now. I need to prove that this works first, and then I can I can go and buy out and buy that. So that's what will be coming later. Uh, I did speak with Unity. They can give us a free 30-day trial license of the Pro version, but we can't publish anything with that trial version. So, uh, again, the, that's, it doesn't really matter if I have the, the trial version because if I can't get it out into, into the market and test it with a lot of users, then I can't really know if it's working or not. So, again, this is why I'm coming back to the web version to, to sort of test this out, um, which is what I've mentioned here. So, as I said before, this is an early version, and it's, it's really, really basic, but I wanted to tell people just to sort of get a little bit of news out into the channel and say, hey, come and check it out, uh, and maybe I can get some feedback, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well, and, and, and let me know what you think. Uh, so far, people have enjoyed it, so that's, that's good news. Uh, on the, on the, uh, uh, the testing side of things, now, some people might find this useful, especially maybe the intermediate developers or... Uh, even even experienced developers who are going to the online side of, of, of developing games and making multiplayer games, right now, because the game is not very popular, what might happen is people will come onto this website, congregate.com, they'll load Ninja Birds X, and what will happen is they'll just wait for a player to, to join. Now, if that waiting time is too long, maybe even 10 seconds, then people will just go away and they'll never come back to the game, maybe. So that's a big problem. So what I've done in this version here, this is version 0.2, is I've actually created a, an AI or a bot version. So this version right here that's also running on my, on my Mac is, is, a, is a bot build or an AI build. And what this does is it just sits there and it loops around and tries to join a room again and again and again until a real player joins them and plays together. So as you've just seen right now, what I was doing is I wasn't playing with a real person, I was just... Uh, Playing with myself, for want of a better, one of a better term, but I was just playing the, I was just playing the bot. So as I click play here, so this is this would be a real person trying to connect, and this bot version here has also created a room. So what happens is, as this real player starts to play, this bot version just automatically throws the bird and and tries to compete with you. So as you can see, the layout of the apples here, one, two, three, on the bottom right. One, two, three is exactly the same. So these guys are the same. So if I throw one here, and I'll go to the bot, and you can see it's exactly the same. So one, zero. As they throw, you see? So I hopefully you saw that then. It's exactly the same. So three, one. Uh, so what's happening is, as the player joins, the bot is always going to be running on my Mac, or, or so long as I keep my Mac open, so that whenever a new player comes into the game, they're always going to have someone to play against. Now, that might be, some people might consider it cheating a little bit, but for me personally, I'd much rather have the player play the game a little bit and, and get to know it rather than them just coming in, sitting there and being bored. The, the AI player at the moment does, uh, does give the player a bit of a challenge as well, even though I've not coded it very, very well. Uh, it, it is a little bit stupid on some of the shots, but my recommendation is if you're doing any online game, guys, if you're looking to build any online game, and this is a big tip, is make sure that when the player comes into the game, a real player, is that they have someone or something to play against. Now, I launched Chick's Revenge in late 2011, and I built online multiplayer functionality into that game, and that was available on iPhone. Now, what I quickly learned is after the game was launched, is that when I came into the game, 
there was nobody to play against. I just sat there for hours. Uh, probably because it's not a very popular game and because the single player mode was far more uh, was the was played much more than the online mode. It was the first two selections were single player and the last one was multiplayer. So definitely figure out guys if you've not got a team of people playing ready to, to, to play with users you have to have some kind of AI set up in, in my opinion. Now that AI could run on your on your Mac like I have or PC like I have it right now and you just let it run. So the good thing is when this runs I can actually see players playing and I can take over the AI and I can play with them directly. The negative thing is that I have to constantly leave this running on a PC somewhere, which, which isn't a big problem. But uh, bear in mind that if you do leave it running, that it's, it's, it, might, uh, it might slow down your computer. So it's better just to have it running on a separate PC somewhere. If the game is very light, you don't even need a new PC.